Hey guys, Alan Productions here, and today we are back in the All the Mon 6 series. Uh, this is episode 2. Uh, last one, we found this gigantic cave, which as you can tell, I have lit up uh, between episodes, and it took a little while. Uh, kind of went in a circular motion, but man, it looks so just crazy with it all lit up. And as you can see, uh, that little... Um, God, that like dungeon kind of thing is just all over the place. It's gigantic. Um... I did fall into this, um, that's, was that a baby zombie? Yeah, it was. Um, pretty dangerous, uh, but with this lit up, we're hopefully not going to encounter nearly as many mobs. Uh, okay. So, a few things, as you can see, it's a lot brighter, and that's because I, uh, had it on Moody. Which, um, yeah, is, wow, it really hurts my eyes now that I think about it. Uh, bright just makes torches actually look like torches, um, and have your base really look like it's lit up. Uh, also, I made the base a little bit more neat. Uh, really, isn't it isn't a base. It's kind of like a starter hut, uh, underground hut thing. I extended that to go down, and I also found under here is a tunnel. I went through a little bit. There's a spawner here and over there, but there's like a a like a staircase kind of like someone mined it out i didn't uh it went up through this cobblestone that i blocked um and i found it because the skeleton shot me in the back and i got killed so you know that's not fun um but up here i believe is yeah i just blocked it off i didn't even bother um we're gonna explore down there maybe even mile these ores out if we have time um but after exploring down there just a little bit, I mean, I got like chanted books, got a bow, um, it's all kinds of stuff, and it's pretty crazy the loot. Uh, speaking of which, I got this. Now, look at the uh, saturation on it, that's the biggest thing, and that's an absurd amount of saturation. Uh, that's like the best I've ever seen, and this is pretty crazy too because. I mean, three hunger, not that much, but it's still really nice. It's a really good um, thing. I mean, look how fast it takes to eat it. It's super quick. Um, so I'm, I looked it up, and I couldn't really find a way to eat it, or find it, uh, besides like loot tables and chests and stuff, as you can see. But there's also a press <laughs> that it can make uh, with iron, seeds, and apple. And I'm actually going to make that, because food is really important, and this seems like a really, really decent food source. So first off, what we're going to do, um, travel to the surface, hopefully not die here. I don't know what, I actually don't know what time of day it is. Um, it seems to be just turning night, which is really not uh, perfect. However, I think any of these trees would work. What, what even are these trees again? Palo... Palo Verde. If you're wondering what these crosses are, it's when I press F7 in the game, a mod pack shows these things, which is basically spawnable spaces. Okay, there are ghosts in the game now. Are you gonna? Yeah, you're coming right at me. Oh, you wanna you wanna go? You wanna go, bro? Uh, yeah, I'm using a golden sword. What about it? Uh, tattered cloth. What is a uh, tattered tattered cloth? Oh. Okay, so basically witchcraft stuff. That's fun. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna go into all of the um, crazy magic and stuff like that mods, but we'll see. Um, what I need to get is an apple, and I know for sure that my frames are really low. Oh my god. I'm gonna get one of these trees. Hopefully a uh, thing will drop from it. Oh yeah, and I figured out so this uh, shovel has a, an enchantment called Experience Boost 2. Look at what happens when I mine this. Look, I get experience from just mining things, and it's really weird. Um, so we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully not forget about that. Okay, I finally got an apple. Um, finally, I'm going to replant these trees because, you know, deforestation bad. Okay, we're down here again. Uh, what was it called? M muscly. Alright, so I mined, or looked around, uh, mined a whole bunch of iron. Um, I just realized I don't have any coal. Um, I need coal too. Luckily, there's a big patch right here. Very nice. Okay. 
I also got this thing, a supply camp chest free. I don't know what this does. I didn't want to use it because I didn't know if it would like do anything, but Oh Oh What is What is this? Oh Oh, what? Wait. Okay, hang on. I don't... Oh, Jesus, what did I just do? Uh, right-click the build tool on a solid block to adjust the position. Uh, cancel. Oh! Supply can't... Hang on. Supply... Supply camp, and this one sup says supply camp chest. Okay, so I really don't know what this does. Um, <laughs> eight to fourteen stacks. Like th this is not a stack, though. So this could be one of two things. This could be a template to build off of, or it could literally just spawn in that thing. I don't know what it is, uh, and I really kind of don't want to spawn in down here just because, like, this is underground and it wouldn't look that nice. Okay, Muscly Melange Power Bar Press. <laughs> uh, control Shift. DIY on the go press for Muscly mel Melange Power Bars. Drop in some seeds and every food you can find. Well, maybe no rotting stuff, so no rotten flesh, to create healthy snacks. Huh? Wait. Oh. Oh, hang on. So if I just take like some wheat seeds, some, what about some tea leaf? Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know why neither of those could go in there. Oh, seeds and food items. Hang on, so what if I put in, let's see, if I put, ah, okay, I just use 18 to make one of these, but honestly, the output's probably better. Huh, I don't know, huh, I mean, we got a power bar, huh, I'm gonna have to experiment th with this more, I guess we can use it, like, on adventures and stuff, like, just grab a whole bunch of seeds and, uh, items from the, uh, little, like, these kind of things, the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. That could actually, hmm, this could be useful. But about this supply camp chest, I'm gonna go place this down up, uh, in the world. Let's say I wanted this little camp right here. Okay. Oh, I see. What are you? Uh. A freaking rich doctor? Uh. What the? Why are there? Why are there rats? Uh. <laughs> what? what? Can I help uh. you, sir? All right. So I don't know why I have a rat pelt and a raw rat in my inventory now, but. Um, not sure what that was about. So I'm looking at this blueprint. I raised it up, uh, one, just to get a better idea. I know, I don't know what these things are, but, hmm. I still am kind of, like, confused. Like, what, this is a whole base, it seems like. So honestly, um, I'm looking through, I looked through all of them, and... So there are a lot of them that just follow this template, uh, just with different like wool colors or wood colors, or not wood colors, but wood types and stuff like that. I'm not going to go with this one just because it kind of looks a little lame, not going to lie. Uh, but look at this, there's like Asian Supply Camp, which just looks like, well, this looks pretty crazy amount of food. Uh, but then there's also like Dark Oak, uses a gigantic uh, Dark Oak tree in the middle, and then it builds around that. This is a fortress one that is a fortress, quite obviously. And there's a space where star camp that is just a, a 
the sand crawl sand crawler. So I think if I'm gonna go with one, I'm gonna go with this jungle supply cam because it's the biggest and it looks amazing. Uh, besides this, these pillars which kind of look a little iffy, but if I ever need to like take this down, there's a ton of resources. Um, so we're gonna find a place to put this. For the time being, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this, uh, just because there's not a really good, great location that I want to build it in. And I mean, this is like a whole base from what it looks like. And if it's not, that's kind of disappointing. But uh, if we ever find like a good location or something like that, I'm definitely gonna set that up there. In the meantime, I actually think I'm gonna take a cor or a different course, a different change of direction. That's not good. What the hell was that? That sounded like a trap, I'm gonna assume, in one of these caves. Uh -huh. Wow, okay. Uh, good thing that wasn't me. So I was looking at pickaxes, and... I, because there's no Tengu's Construct, and Tengu's Construct is always what I've been um, making my tools from whenever I play modded, uh, and I don't really know how or what the progression is like in this game. So I'm looking, and uh, Diamond Pickaxe is Obsidian, uh, Netherite Pickaxe and Money Level is Netherite, and if you look down here, the that's Tier 3, so Tier 4 and Tier 5. And I also looked all the modium alloy is tier eight, so what it seems like is all the mo modium is like the end game, uh, right? This is probably made by the same developers that made the game, and there's probably if I look it up, yeah, there's a, all the modium full set, and this is yeah, seventy six hearts. Uh, this is like the end game uh, stuff that we'll be going for. Iron Paxel. Huh, so if I... Wait, HP? Why does it have HP? So I've made this... Does this mean... Oh my god. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just found probably our tool that we'll be using. I'm still... I mean, as you can see, there's so many mods. There's so many just things. I can't really look at all of them, but right now we're kind of in a uh, difficult situation. So we have this gigantic cave, uh, and I'm definitely going to mine all the ores out at some time in the future. I don't really know when. I also want to explore these things, um, although at the same time, uh, knowing Minecraft and uh, mine shafts, they can go on for literal ages, and I can see they're even down there. Uh, so it might just be a huge waste of the time. It might just be a huge waste of time just because of how big they are and how they never end and really it might just be better off not not exploring them in the first place although I do still want to kind of go throughout them. This one actually ended here which is really surprising I mean it goes into like a little cave here but that's just a cave. Okay I guess I'm going to explore this way. Um, and there are traps, uh, as you can, as you heard earlier, there are, um, there might be TNT traps, which would be very dangerous, but there's also this I stumbled upon, uh, got shot in the face with by some arrows and harming, what else is poison, wow, I'm actually gonna take these, cause these could be really useful, what the hell is this, it's like a, a jukebox, it's, in the middle of this place. Okay, this seems to be kind of getting intercepted by a ravine. And wow, it goes deep. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, I should have saw I saw I saw the trip or the the little blocks poking out. Um Okay, that could have been bad. If I stepped any further, I would have gotten splashed by uh poison. Yep. I need to remember to destroy the dispensers first. 
I've already run out of space in my inventory. Okay, so it goes deeper here. Uh, I won't go that way just yet. This looks very sketchy. Uh, I'm gonna go slow. You can clearly hear something's going on below us, and there's another spawner over there. I can hear so many pressure plates right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave a whole bunch of stuff in here just in case. I'm actually gonna bring this uh, in case I get ultra damaged. But, oh, let me rush to spawn proof this place. I uh, do not want to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll let them do their thing. They really did just kill each other. Okay. Okay, I'll fill my inventory up with the things I think are more most important. I'm going to go back and uh, drop these off. Okay, I am back. Uh, we're going to venture down here. This looks pretty dangerous. Wow, okay. Um, well, there are bars. What is that? Is that water? I believe that's water. Um, over here, what's that through here? More things. There are probably a crap ton of traps and probably TNT. Uh, I'm going to explore this way. And I'm also going to keep on mind for these little X's being raised because they are raised whenever they're over a block. Oh. Okay. There's a wire right there. This is like Indiana Jones right now. Um. Whoa. Why am I drifting? Okay. This skeleton is about this. Oh. Okay. That's how it is. There are a lot of vines. And there's another one. Um. That one doesn't have anything. Alright, I found another thing that goes down. Oh boy. Whoa, dude. Whoa! Whoa! This is actually really cool. Like, Minecraft... Minecraft could use an update like this that makes the dungeons, like, super cool. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many. Explore this a little more. Um... What's going on there? Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, I'll take this. Damn, this is a lot of food in here. What the hell? Okay, I think I've reached the end. Uh, ooh, slime. Okay. All this is pretty much explored. Uh, I don't think there's anything really yeah, in this chest I really want. I'm actually going to get out of this one. I'm going to go down the uh, other one that had like nether stuff. That looked really cool. I'm going to be smart though. Uh, before I go down there, I'm going to place a chest and put all my stuff in it. Okay, here we go. Down into the very... <laughs> wow, that looks... Okay, here we go. Down into the nether one. Um, oh. Ooh, wow, that scared the living bejesus out of me. So it seems like there's another level of this. And after that, there's nether. So I'm going to take a little peek around here. Okay. Uh, there's... Oh, there's a spawner, a spawner room. Okay. Um, uh oh. Oh, move. Move out of my face. Get out of my face. Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Wow, damn, this is really what, like, this is what dungeons or mine shafts should be. They should be difficult and pretty skillful to explore, really fun, really decorated, and then have rewarding um, chests if you explore a lot. Oh, 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 that's not good. Okay, I now understand. What is that? I now understand what that explosion was. That's really sad because I saw there's some good things. Um, okay, well now we... Now we know. Um, there is chests or chest rooms. If they look like that, then there's going to be explosions. Okay, another skull thing. This looks dangerous. I can tell. 
Very dangerous. Yep, this is spawner somewhere. Oh. What? How are these things spawning? Oh, there's, there's spawners behind them. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Behind each of these, there seems to be, yep, spawners. And then with the spawners is a chest. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Uh oh, this isn't good. They are going through my shield. Oh, how did he just shoot through that? Okay. Okay. So, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to just throw away this, uh, <laughs> this thing. Damn, okay, these, wow, these have really nice loot. Imagine how crazy a mob farm would be if we really try and made this into a mob farm. Uranium? I just read I got uranium ore. I thought this was gold. Wait a minute. This looks almost exactly like gold. And I got uranium ore. Okay, uh, once again, I've collected everything I really need. Um, and that's that. This seems like it's the end of that tunnel. Seem to have found another one of these places. Wow. Okay, so I finally gotten all the stuff and put it into the chest. This is all that we've gotten. And yeah, uh, we've gotten uh, quite a lot of stuff. Um, some of it that we've mined are just blocks from there, and most of it just loot. But boy, oh boy, um, this is, it's really rewarding. Um, although I don't really know, I don't think I'm going to explore it fully, as it's going to take way too long. Um, and if I do off camera, there's just so much stuff that I just get without you knowing. It's kind of like, it, it's not... It's not fun. It's not fun to just see you, me skip so much progress just by exploring these things. But either way, this is a crazy haul. Um, in the next episode, I will make sure and I will go down into the nether uh, section that we can see. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all those things. It really helps me, helps out the channel, helps out the algorithm. Uh, and I genuinely appreciate them all. If you want to see more content like this, do the same. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, your thoughts and feelings. Maybe what I should do uh, in terms of all of these mine shafts everywhere. But either way, so I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.